ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி ஹவு டு கிரியேட் அ கேர்ள் கமேண்ட் ரெக்வஸ்ட் த்ரூ ஜே மீட்டர் ஸோ வி ஆல் மைட் ஹேவ் கம் அக்ராஸ் தி கேர்ள் கமேண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ தீஸ் கமேண்ட்ஸ் ஆக்சுவலி கம் அப் வித் லாட் ஆஃப் பெனிஃபிட்ஸ் அண்ட் அட்வான்டேஜஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இன் கேஸ் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு கிரியேட் அன் ஆத்தன்டிகேஷன் டோக்கன் or in case if you are if you want to send a request or if you want to send a get request or a post request to your server automatically uh, without any human intervention you can use this curl commands and this curl command is actually a command line tool on the library that allows us to transfer data to and from the servers using variable protocols so apart from extracting public data which can be it can be a html or a text or a json or image this curl commands actually handles sessions and cookies and it also it can connect with apis and can be easily incorporated with shell commands for automation so in all these cases curl makes a great tool for web so in this video so in fact since if it is part of your web development it should be again part of your uh, testing as well so the reason i have come up with this uh, video is recently i have faced a challenge on how to create a curl command through jmeter so that i can get the adobe authentication so we have successfully uh, completed it so in this video i will show you with two different examples on how to create a curl command and how to extract the result and then how to uh, send it back to the response uh, to another request so that you can use that and as a authentication and uh, how does it work so first uh before we move on to the video uh, this is me yosan sharmukam i welcome you all to our little sly youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet and uh, like the video share the video with your friends who is looking for a curl command uh, uh, who is again facing a similar challenge in uh, creating a curl command and also uh, share words with your friends that there are a lot of videos on jmeter which you all know and on new load on load runner on devops concepts and everything so uh firstly uh, to create a curl command uh we do not want to add any thread group or we do not want to add any uh uh what to say like a samplers or you do not even want to use the templates for creating the curl command because unfortunately there is no option to create the curl command using the templates but there is an option to do to create the curl command and that is through your tool so when you go to tools and when you click on the import from curl you get the create test plan from curl and the next step is so simple the only thing which you are going to do is you're going to just copy paste your curl command whatever your command is just copy paste the entire command so in this scenario i'm going to uh, create a get request so i'll just show you with one get request and with one post request so in this example uh, i'm going to create a get request a get request curl command test plan so nothing here have to do in case if you really want to add a cookie head header to the cookie manager you can choose it but in this scenario i'm not going to choose it so i just pasted the value and then i'm going to click on the create test plan that's it you get a message that it successfully created http requests and uh, now the create the request is created just go to your uh, http request you can see the protocol the server name the path the http request type and based on a request automatically this will be created and the accept the content type is application json and http cookie manager and apart from this there is one more thing so which you have to uh, change when you are uh, running your thread group the thing is you have to change the thread group based on your requirements so in this case i'm going to just change it and then i'm going to just remove it and after this just right click on the thread group and do a validate and let me save this so this is going to be a curl command curl curl scripting with jmeter and let me open and this is going to be my curl scripting dot jmx i'm going to save it so if i go to the 
results the response so this is what is the response that's been expected so we have successfully created a get request and then now i will show you how to create a post request because post will come up with a lot of uh, additional uh, i would say like a body data uh, which you which we might need to add it as part of the script so here i have a post request and again the process is same you can use the same http request you do not want to create anything else just go to the thread group select the thread group go to the tools again click on import from curl your curl uh, sorry create test plan from curl and paste your url whatever just don't change any of your format if, because most of the times this comes from your uh, uh, some from the system or somewhere so just just don't change anything in the format or anything just don't write anything uh, fancy paste it create test plan you'll get a green message that it's been created and then come back to the request here so automatically it's been created the http request created curl your protocol the server name and then the HTTP request so this is a post request and then the path and uh, here you can see the values the parameters that's been created as part of this particular HTTP request and then coming to the HTTP manager the content type is uh, XML and then the accept is again XML format so let me clear it again and going to the results tree and the first request and then the second request so the next part here is we might need to uh, like for example we might need some values so in this case I'm, i need the root value so for, just for an example i'm telling you because most of the times this will be kind of your authentication value or your authorization authorization value which you have to pass to a different value so what i'm going to do is i'm going to extract this root value okay so for that let me process uh, follow the process which i do so let me copy this thing and then go to the regex p tester paste the value here do a test i've got the value so I'm, i just want to this particular value so i'm doing a dot star question mark and then close and then i do a test so i got the exact value which i want so now i'm going to use this value as the regular expression to extract this value i'm going to the http request do a right click go to the add uh, if i'm going very fast let me just slow down so I think you must have followed until this point so i'm just going to the add now going to the post processor regular expression extractor main sample and sub samples and the created variable is going to be like i just want to create this like authentication and i'm pasting the regular expression here the template is going to be dollar one dollar and the match number is going to be one and i'm checking this use default temp, uh, default value and now we all know that this has been created so uh, let me add a post processor it's going to be a jsr223 post processor i'm going to print the value to see whether it's been created correctly just be copying it and then dollar bracket yep so i've created it let me save it and then let's run the script and let's see how does it work so now if i go to the log okay so for some reason it's not working let me just remove this let me just disable uh, this and let me run it again and make sure there are no errors or issues that's been coming up yeah there is nothing there are, okay I think there is okay yeah this is executed successfully and yeah the error is because of the jsr223 preprocessor so what i will do is let me add another sampler a jsr223 sampler and i will paste this code here so that we can see the response in the log.info and let me run it again go to the view results tree Okay, I believe there is some issues with the JSR223 sampler. Let me check what can I do. Let's try with the okay, not the debug sampler, sorry. Uh 
okay so let's do another thing i'm going to add a http request around the top i'm going to add this value the authentication so that i just want to see whether the value that is extracted is been popping up right and uh, here if you go to the text in the request okay so the value is not been properly extracted i believe and that's the reason I could see the value is authentication and not the exact value which I wanted to get. Uh, let me uh, disable this and let me run it again. Yep, it's, it's still uh, authentication is the value. Okay, yeah, so now I have found the issue. So it's because of the brackets that I have used. So it should be the curly braces so i'm just going to use the open curly brace and the close curly brace and then let me save it and let's run the script and then in the http request let me go to the view results tree and yep so we have got the value that's been extracted uh in the uh in the response of this particular request so with that i come to an end and i believe the video have showed you how to create a curl command so let me just do a quick recap okay a quick recap sorry quick recap you're not going to create anything uh in terms of a test plan or thread group or you're not going to use your uh, templating thing just go to your tools and uh, click on import from curl paste your curl command and then nothing here you're not going to do because what happened is when i paste let me just show you what happened so when i paste this command here and when i try to create a file name for example like file name dot bat or something and then when i click create you get this request like error creating http request error error creating test plan uh, again there's a spelling mistake as well like it's it's uh, showing us test plan and then select one between trading file so uh, this is not the right way to do it. So like select one between trading file and directly fill in the panel. So this is not the right way to do. So the right way to do is just remove it. And if I even click create now, it will work. So that's the way to create. Just don't create anything fancy in, uh, like creating a file name or something else. Do a create test plan. And if you want, really want to use it in some other request, just do a copy and paste it in the uh, other script, which wherever you want. And after that, I've executed it. And we were able to successfully get the response from the request and it worked fine. So with that, I come to an end and I believe this video would be very useful to you. So until I meet you in another definitely an interesting video like this, it's bye-bye from Asin Shanbugam and your little slaw.